one hard one right there. Yep. <laughs> you ready to roll, Grandpa? Let her rip. We're gonna stay warm at least. That's the only reason I'm here. <laughs> Something to hold on to there. There you go. Okay, welcome back, everybody. It's the evening of the 20th. It's opening day of rifle season, the 20th. 19th. The 19th, November 19th. And uh, Grandpa and I are set up up here overlooking the corn plot, and we've got a uh, brassica plot down below us. I actually uh, planted a bunch of ryegrass right into it because we had a really big uh, weed problem this year. It almost looked like I planted weeds instead of <laughs> brassica down there. But anyways, we've got a couple acres of standing corn right on the other side of that brush and a lot of the deer are going right through that strip going to and from that standing corn. So uh, we're going to have to keep a close eye on that and there's been a bunch of deer coming out up here in this uh, in this corn up here to the right. It's kind of a different situation up here this year than ever before. We've got uh, a lot more pressure right off the property line than we've ever had up here. So uh, it, it's probably gonna really alter kind of the deer movement up here, considering you know whether or not there's actually people hunting the tree stands that were put up up here. I can't see uh, any orange in there, so that's a good sign. I don't know if I'd be able to see I them. know one thing. If, unless they got clothes I've never owned, if they can take it in that thing in this wind. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's rough. I don't know what the degrees would be with the wind chill, but it's cold. Well, I can guarantee they're not as comfortable as we are. No. <laughs> and they're in for a fight if they try to take this place. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they'd make it up the ladder. <laughs> no. But Grandpa's... Uh, Two years in a row, he's killed a nice buck out of here, and it was was it the first night each night you hunted in here that you sh yeah. shot him. So the only time we didn't do anything is when Monty brought me up, and I'm just gonna go with you from now on. <laughs> <laughs> well, Monty's got all the luck he's this year. Home. Jeez, yeah. I can't believe that. I hunted that deer so hard. He hunts one day, and it comes right under him. Unbelievable. But there's been a ton of turkeys out here too, eating in that eating in that corn. I'm kind of surprised they're not out here right now. Anybody seen bear or said anything about them? No, the bears have kind of disappeared. Uh, I haven't had any pictures. When do of they them. hibernate? When it gets this cold? Or? Yeah, but they're they get up periodically, like warm spells. They'll get up and and uh, move around. Supposed to be in the 40s towards the end of the week. So they spend next week. That bear I killed uh, last muzzleloader season when we cut him open, he was full of those little red berries that grow in the swamp. Oh, yeah. Uh, they, yeah. they call them winter berries. And Pheasants you to eat them. The bear was full of them. I mean, he <laughs> must have been eating those things constantly. Yeah, you imagine that. Yeah, it's weird. I actually seen a bear ar archery hunting a few weeks ago down in Cherry Ridge, and I could see the brush, the red brush moving and every once in a while i see the whole thing bend right over that's, what, that's what they were doing they're eating those berries boy it's windy out there <laughs> i don't think there'll be anybody in them stands tonight i don't think so either and if they if they are good for them I... Got a big storm blowing in tonight where they say... Yeah, no, in the last part of this, I guess. We're supposed to get up to 8 to 10 inches tonight, they're calling for. Boy, they're smoking them in Buffalo. They told them not to get on the road, and last night they wrote 160 tickets. Guys go out and get stuck while in the emergency vehicles and stuff can't get through. Yeah. They're, they're taking them pretty serious this time. Yeah. Yeah, they had that big... What was it last year two years ago everybody got stuck on 90. Mm -hmm. yeah i got they shut that right away this time yeah what's uh what was uh, do you remember the very first buck you ever killed oh yeah it was i was 18 
I'd hunted two years. The first year I didn't see nothing. The second year, the deer season was six days. And then they had what they call an open season on the following Monday and maybe Tuesday, that part I can't remember. But the second year, I was 17, I had a 16 gauge Ithaca with a gray bar sight on the front, but that's what everybody was using, it was just a standard shotgun. Actually, there wasn't deer slayers in them days. And I was hunting in the West Minor Cemetery, this was doe day, and I missed 10 different does. <laughs> I know now what I was doing was just looking at the doe and shooting up through the sky somewhere yeah. or something. And I remember, of course, we was, they'd just got off the farm a few years before that, and Dad had buddies that butchered it, and they got half a beef or whatever, and he says, what do you want to shoot a doe for? We don't need the meat anyway. And so for some reason, after that, I never shot a doe. I just hunted bucks. But any book, small horn, whatever. And in 58, I was sitting up the other end, the south end of the lake, and it was so warm. I remember sitting there watching a little <laughs> red lizard going in and out of the leaves and stuff. And I was looking down into a ravine and a doe come up through there, and a one horned buck come up through. And I let him get as close as he was gonna get, and I got him. I couldn't believe it. I went down and gutted him out. And I don't know why, it must have been from seeing movies or something. I crawled under that sucker and got up. I was never very strong. Had my hands right, I'm just all covered with gore and crap. And then I fell over backwards. <laughs> I thought, this ain't gonna work. You're lucky you didn't stick his one horn up your ass when you fell over. <laughs> if he had his way, he would have. <laughs> So then I, I dragged him out with a rope and there was a creek there that come up above the road. And I dragged him up that little creek bed and I drove my car up to him. But that was up until I killed that one in 2000. That was the heaviest deer I ever got. We weighed him in the feed mill and he was 168. Wow. And the one I got in 2000 was 176. But always small deer. I never. I know we had a deer contest every year with two bucks. Of course, in all fairness, most of us guys was making a buck an hour, so it was a couple hours wages. And all we did was the whitest part of the rack because I didn't want guys arguing about points. Yeah. yeah. We'd put one side against the straight edge and then keep moving it till it hit another straight edge. I know one year I had it one with a 14 incher right up to the last part of the day and Molesky shot one. Mine was 14 and 3 eighths and he got one that was 14 and <laughs> Oh gosh. <laughs> Go figure him of all people too. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. He probably stopped him and said, uh, let me let me check your spread quick before. <laughs> Oh, man. I, you know, when you think back to them old guns, I know Dad had a Ithaca 16 gauge for small game and deer. Well, then years later, he kind of quit hunting small game. So we took it up to a German gunsmith in Erie, Gornflow, a really super nice guy, and he could do anything. And we asked him if he could put a peep sight on it and take the choke out of it, because they claimed the choke screwed up the shooting. And, it was an accurate gun, and he shot three bucks with it before he was done hunting. But none of us ever killed, I think. Well, how many have you killed? Can you count that high? <laughs> I've killed quite a few. I don't know, to be honest. With you got to be in the 20s. Yeah. Hell, I've got probably 60 years of hunting, and I just killed that one last year with number 15. Yeah. But it's no big deal. It's just... Yeah. This is a way to hunt. You got to let them come to you because it's really lucky to walk on. Yeah. One. Well, that's the thing. It's in the old days that nobody hunted like this. It was mm -mm. you. You really kind of uh, walked through the woods and you did a oh, bunch yeah. of deer yeah. pushes to each other and there wasn't as many deer back then either, was there? Or was there? I don't know. I I, I don't think there was the size of the bucks that they're getting today. 
But I think most of the yearlings and two-year-olds and three-year-olds got bumped off. They didn't get a chance to get big. Yeah. And the boy today, they're getting monsters. Yeah, they are. That one that kid got over to Whitney's today, Travis told me it'll be 20 inch. Wow. Eight point. Real nice buck. Why did everybody shoot 16 gauges back then? Is that just was a prominent? Well, prominent? I guess my dad had a 12 gauge double when I was a kid. It was a Parker. It was a, that's a real super shotgun, but it was really heavy. Well, then we got into pump guns, and I don't know. He got a 16 gauge, so when I got to be at 14, I bought a 16 gauge. My brother had 12s. He always used 12s. Everybody, not too many guys seemed to hunt with 20s. So that was. But story was they was better slug guns, and mm. it was an endless argument. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's no different than today with rifles, and you know, oh, every, yeah. if yeah. you shoot a six five, this that, everything else, and oh, you know, yeah. this, it's everybody's got a, something to say about it, you know. Well, your lighter, faster rifles are, are really good when there's no wind, but a day like today, if you're shooting crosswind with one of them, it's gonna affect it if you're out there quite a way. Absolutely, you're right. Well, we got our very first deer out at three, shit, it's three o'clock. 3.03. That's a good sign. They're hungry. What is it over to the edge right there, about 80, 90 yards? Yeah, I think it's a little over 100. right behind a tree. He's gonna come out, Grandpa. Let me get the safe off. Got a good rest? I think he's gonna come out, Grandpa. Well, you shit, he j he's coming to the left now. down in the woods. Can you see him? Yeah, he's down in the woods. He's going to the left. I can't believe he didn't come out right there. Maybe he's gonna come out down below, Grandpa. Ain't gonna be through this one, though. I can guarantee that. No. I wonder if we gotta open this one. I still see him down there. Okay, he's coming back this way, Grandpa. He's coming back. Do you want me to take the safety off? Not yet. Let me. Okay, he's right. He's oh, right I down see. here. I see. Now he's going back the other way. Yeah, what the matter with him? Boy, 
Boy, he's acting really weird. Bastard. It's almost like he was on that track of that doll. Probably in the pines by now. We just had a real nice buck skirt the back of the food plot over here and uh, he was acting really squirrely. He came out and then there were some turkeys that were going behind him and he almost acted like he was nervous of the turkeys or something and he ended up cutting across and then he acted like he was coming back up and then last we seen he was he headed. He almost to, headed towards Tracy's the last time I seen him. I mean yeah, more deep into the, the woods. Toward the hemlocks. I think that uh, Next time we see him, he might come out, if he's heading for food, he might come out right here in the strip food plot. So Grandpa's already right here at that. Got a good rest and stuff, so if he comes out through there, he'll have a good shot at him. Big body deer. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's a couple dull. See, and that's even more odd. That's right where that buck yeah, was coming. Right. About the same size as the one that was out before. Yep. There's one right behind the corn. I can just see its body there. There's another deer coming up the trail right now, coming out. Well, it just walked. It's behind the corn, so you can't see it now, but. The little corn? No, the. Oh, the other one. Yeah, it went from, see that big stump? Mm -hmm. It went from that stump to the right. But it looked like it was angling toward us. That other big doe just ran down into the woods to the left. And there you goes. You got a running deal going for some reason. Yeah, there goes the other ones running down through there now, too. They're acting extremely weird. That wind screws them up. Now, that deer I saw is walking to the left down through the woods. That's just a tiny little spike. It's walking out into the plot now. See? Yeah. You know. I could just see him running. Oh, there they go. Yeah, these things are acting like they've been messed with pretty bad. I bet that buck was an eight. Yeah, I have a feeling I know which buck it is. It's 
if I don't know for a fact until I look at the video, but there's a buck that I've been getting a lot of pictures of down here that's real wide and kind of a big body deer. And it's got a little kicker on its G2 from the base. It's actually a seven point with a kicker. Hmm. So he's got three on one side, four on the other. If it's the one, I, I'd have to look at the video to be sure, but. That back doe's looking back into the woods. You got food there? Yeah, there's brassica right there, but didn't grow very good, really. There's got to be something Where else. That, fuck? I thought he'd be down there. that one in the back's looking behind it really hard, like there's some definitely something else coming. She is. I'd venture to say there's a deer going to be popping out around that corner pretty soon. That's going to do it on this evening's hunt. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Grandpa was this close to letting that nice buck have it in the corner of the food plot, but he was acting really squirrely. Quite honestly, all the deer were. There's clearly something going on in the, you know, uh, you know, it wasn't natural, and I'm sure that it was due to some, the deer getting moved around a little bit in the morning and the, on the neighboring property there. But it is what it is. Uh, I'm gonna have to roll with the punches when it comes to that this year. Anyways, we had a good hunt. We saw a nice buck, saw some does. Uh, we'll be back after him shortly. And I wanted to mention to you guys as well, we have some new t-shirts on the uh, website, an American Pride t-shirt and a Boone Crockett t-shirt. Uh, they're super nice, uh, as well as some special discount codes to Tideway's website for Black Friday. Uh, take advantage of them, there's some, some huge discounts. Uh, I'm gonna put the links in the description below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you tomorrow morning.